125 years of the Paul Ehrlich Institute. Let's take a look at the most important milestones. 1896. The Paul Ehrlich Institute is founded as the Institute for Serum Research and Serum Testing at Steglitz near Berlin. Paul Ehrlich, a German medical doctor, serologist and immunologist, becomes its director. 1899. The Institute moves to Frankfurt on the Main to take up residence in the newly opened Royal Institute for Experimental Therapy. 1908. 1915. Paul Ehrlich receives the Nobel Prize for Medicine together with Ilya Mnechnikov. Seven years later, Paul Ehrlich, the founder of experimental medicine, modern chemotherapy and immunology, passes away. 1947 The Institute gets a new name. Paul Ehrlich Institute, State Authority for Experimental Therapy. 1972 with the legislative degree establishing a federal authority for CIRA and vaccines, the Institute becomes an independent senior federal authority. 1990 The Paul Ehrlich Institute inaugurates its new building in Langen near Frankfurt. 1996 National responsibility for blood and blood preparations is transferred from the former Federal Health Office to the Institute. 2004 The Paul Ehrlich Institute is assigned responsibility for advanced therapy medicinal products, also known as ATMP. These are drugs based on genes, tissues or cells. 2005. The Paul Ehrlich Institute becomes a designated WHO collaborating center for quality assurance of blood products and in vitro diagnostic devices. In 2013, the Paul Ehrlich Institute becomes a designated WHO collaborating center for standardization and evaluation of vaccines. 2020. Research, scientific advice, authorization. The Paul Ehrlich Institute plays an important role in the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. What began with a handful of employees has become a globally recognized, internationally active research and testing institute with a payroll of more than 800 people. The Paul Ehrlich Institute has laid important foundations for the medicine of today, such as modern immunology. Paul Ehrlich's side chain theory explains the principle of immunity. Chemotherapy. With support from Sahachiro Hata, Paul Ehrlich was able to develop Salvazan, the world's first drug for treating syphilis. Efficacy testing. Potency assays standardize the experimental efficacy testing in the laboratory. In the future, the Paul Ehrlich Institute will continue to apply all its scientific expertise for the efficacy, safety and quality of vaccines and biomedicines.